ABC Kinder Teach presents All Pigs Are Beautiful, written by Dick King Smith, illustrated by Anita Jerem. There are little pigs and big pigs, pigs with long snouts and pigs with short snouts, snouts are their noses. Pigs with ears that stick up and pigs with ears that flop down. But all pigs are beautiful. I love pigs. I don't care if they're little pigs or big pigs. Pigs with long snouts or short snouts with ears that stick up or ears that flop down. I don't mind if they're black or white or ginger, which is an orangish brown or spotted. I just love pigs. If you really twisted my arm, which means you begged me, and said, you have to have a favorite kind of pig, what is it? And I might have to say, a black and white spotted, medium snouted, flop-eared pig that comes from Gloucestershire though of all the pigs I have ever owned, my one particular favorite was a boar called Monty, who was a large white. And a male breeding pig is called a boar, and the luckiest pigs like Monty live outside. And this is what a floppy-eared pig looks like. Their ears just kind of flop down over the sides of their head. Monty never looked very white because he lived out in the woods where there was a pond in which he liked to wallow. And wallow means kind of roll around in. But he looked very large and he was. And this is what wallowing looks like. They lay down and the, they get the mud on their uh, skin. A good coating of mud protects a pig from sunburn. I bought him as a youngster or a little pig, but when he was full grown, he weighed 600 pounds. 600 pounds is about the weight of 12 kindergartners. Monty was so gentle. When I went out to feed him and his 10 wives, he would come galloping, running through the trees at my call a really monstrous or very big and frightening sight to anyone who didn't know what a pushover he was. And a pushover is someone who's very nice, easy to get along with. What he really loved once he'd finished his slop or the leftovers people gave him was to be scratched on the top of his head between his big ears and it always affected him in the same way. His eyes with their long, pale lashes would close in ecstasy, which means he was very happy. And slowly his hindquarters or his rear legs would sink down until he was sitting on his bottom like a huge dog. Oh, this is lovely. You could almost hear him thinking, what more can life offer? So he's really excited about that. A pig can eat everything you can and more besides. You couldn't digest grass and roots and tubers, for instance, but a pig can. A tuber is like a potato, so we can digest potatoes, which are tubers, so it's mostly right. Most pigs aren't so fussy, which means they're not very picky. Just having their backs scratched is enough for them. They squirm with pleasure, it means they kind of move around because it feels good. And of course, you have to talk to them. Pigs like people enjoy a good talk. So don't just stand there saying nothing. Piggy, piggy, piggy will do if you don't happen to know the pig's name. Uh, pigs have a very keen sense of smell, which means they can smell really well. They can smell food even when it's buried underground. 
if I'm talking to a big fat sow or a female or mommy pig and don't know what she's called, I usually call her mother or mommy. They like that. Uh, sows who live outdoors build large nests of grass, sticks, and bracken in which to have their babies. A sow normally has between 8 and 12 piglets at a time. Each piglet chooses its own private teat and returns to it for every feeding. Sows spend their lives having babies, lots of them, and they take as good care of them as your mom does of you. Well, almost. Trouble is, newborn piglets are so small that sometimes the sow lies down and squashes one. Your mother would never do that to you, I hope. Of course. While you're busy talking to pigs, telling them how wonderful they or their babies are, the pigs are talking back. Those who don't know much about them just hear grunts and squeaks, but there are all kinds of things a pig might be saying to you if you understand the language. Um, as you can see, pigs have cloven hoofs they walk on their third and fourth toes and this is what a cloven hoof looks like and young female pigs like little girl pigs are called gilts and here's some of the things that a pigs might say such as how kind of you to admire my children or Scratch a little harder, please. Up a little, a little to the left. Down a little. Yes, that's it. Or, well, no, actually, you're not the first person to call me beautiful. Or, this food is really excellent. Yum, yum, thanks a lot. Once a sow has been mated, the farmer expects her piglets to be born three months three weeks and three days later. So when they, when they say, oh, actually you're not the first person to call me beautiful when the pig says that, it's really saying, yes, I know, I'm very, very pretty. Other people have told me that already. So it's kind of funny, isn't it? But of course, pigs like people aren't always sunny and good tempered. And that means they're not always easy to get along with. Hurry up, you stupid two-legged creature. I'm starving and you're late, which means he's saying, hurry up, people. I'm hungry. Don't you dare pick up one of my babies or I'll bite you. And do be careful. Pigs have a horrible bite, so don't take any chances. So they don't really want you messing around with their little piglets because they're trying to protect them. Pigs can be stubborn like people, which means stubborn means they're hard, they refuse to do things, which makes them difficult to herd. Herding is moving animals from one place to another. Pigs that are well taken care of and well fed rarely need the vet. A pig's insides are pretty much the same as ours too. Hearts and lungs and livers and kidneys and stomach they're all in the same places as ours are, and pigs, like people, can eat meat or vegetables or both. Like people, or at least people who have been potty trained, pigs have very clean habits and will never soil their own nest. So when it says soil, it means they will never go to the bathroom in their own nest. Have you noticed or saw how often I've said that pigs are like people. That's one of the reasons I like them so much. There is one big difference though. People can be good looking or just ordinary looking or plain ugly, but all pigs are beautiful. They're saying, oh, every pig is beautiful. Sometimes people aren't always beautiful, but they're saying pigs are always beautiful. <laughs>